Hello Aquarius, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, at val 33 tarot which is read you as well. Thank you. Hmm. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. I'm like, I'm pretty sure one is... Yes. One stands out is the Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Interesting. Didn't notice at the last reading. Ooh. Huh. Goodness, 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 goodness. Okay. All right, Aquarius, jumping into this. Um, immediately, what you're showing me, you've are, you're kind of at a fork on the road. I do see that there is a consideration of who or possibly what you truly want to commit yourself to. Um, here's the thing, though. The way that this energy is going to sound, it may not be the easiest initially, um, only because of this. You're making this decision about who or what you want to commit yourself to or what path you want to walk immediately there's definitely some type of change or happening in circumstances or your situation that is fated here's the thing fated or destined to happen or take place and now unfortunately though immediately following this there is the energy of some type of loss so that only kind of lets me know something <laughs> something in a sense needs to be corrected um and it's not um well it's not happening in the best of ways unfortunately and the, the, even though you're showing me that there has been some type of loss you are kind of keeping things in a sense contained as well as saying okay well maybe it was part of it at the same time you're also showing me that there may be some type of financial issues problems or difficulties here as well that you're having to kind of address take care of or handle that being said though there is that consideration of how to best invest or use your resources and what you have ultimately yes you are trusting yourself and listening to your instincts but you're also in this energy, Aquarius, of just hanging out and kind of watching things unfold. And I'm like, okay, well, we'll see how this goes to the clarifiers. Let's go ahead and jump into those. I'm a little curious as to see what's going to happen because it seems like so much is happening. Um, at the same time, it seems like not much is happening. So we'll see. <laughs> you got to be a little... I'm a little pest today. Yeah, and that that's exactly what I thought, Aquarius. Ultimately, what you're saying is this decision, it's to let something go. Yeah, yeah, I think so. There's something here that isn't, I don't know how to say this. There's something here that almost feels like it's not meant to take place. It's not even meant to... But I feel like there is a consideration of like, do I or don't I? Do I or don't I? And like I said, um, it's no coincidence that I'm looking at two cards of something going up in flames. It's no coincidence. Before fate or destiny and after fate and destiny.
Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, what you're saying is, with time, you're just slowly emotionally checking out. And that, that's like I said, there's something here that isn't it. It doesn't feel like it's it. Um, and unfortunately, it, it's just like, okay, I got to walk away from this. What, what happened, happened. Um, <laughs> there you are. You're ultimately saying, okay, it, it happened, it happened, but now I need to kind of get on board with uh, figuring out what I need to do because of all this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So even though it's taking place, you're kind of also saying, well, because of that, I also have something in mind of what I can kind of do. Nice. Yeah, exactly. You're making changes right then and there. You're making changes. Nice. Like, I know I got to do something here. I got to do something. It almost feels like, uh, for some reason, the words break even. Break even. Ooh, yeah. This is about a connection between you and someone. Um, at the same time, at the same time, okay, it is what it is. You're you're working with it. <laughs> you just asked me if it's karmic or not. Let's see. There's a connection on the other side of this at the same time. Is there? Like, is there, isn't there? Is there, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, this is... Um, it's regarding work and career and finances, that's for sure. It's possibly regarding an investment between the two of you. You're not really showing me an energy of like a relationship relationship. You're showing me a connection between you and someone, but it's more so leaning towards the energy of finances and work. Like something's, something's not necessarily going that quite well at work, um, but you are trying to have things work out. You're showing me this energy of you're working with the difficulties, you're working through them for the sake of either money, finances, security, or for the sake of the connection. Um... I feel like possibly a little bit of both, but a little curious to see what you're going to do. You don't know. You don't know. Interesting. You're, you're showing me financial issues within the worker career setting, but you're also showing me that you individually as, you know, you, um, you may not actually be in that energy, which is fascinating how you kind of broke this apart for me. I do appreciate Um yeah. Balance. You're, you're, I'm looking at two, two, two. You're, you're going for balance here financially as well as possibly with a connection of some sort. <laughs> Jeez. Um, conflicted, conflicted. Yeah. Again, more fire, more fire, Aquarius, more fire. It's it's almost like you're you're using you're using the fire as a <laughs> as like a driving force here. Um geez, 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 geez. That fire can go both ways though. It can help you build and create, or it can help you kind of remove and destroy. Sometimes it's necessary for both. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. You're ultimately saying that with the way everything's going, watching and waiting, um, which I'm not quite understanding, Aquarius. It's almost like, are you enjoying the show? You're kind of showing me, well, I'm doing what I can. I am listening to myself and there's nothing wrong going on really here um, besides the you know financial and work part. But what you're saying is what you're watching unfold. This is something that you're kind of like, okay, let's just raise our glass in the air and toast. And I'm like, Okay, so clearly something is going on where you're kind of like, there's a little bit of this, there's a little bit of that. But overall, it's a, in a sense, by what you're showing me, it's a nice, good energy. And I'm like, okay, then with the magician on top of the deck, I believe I told Virgo that as well as Leo that today. So of course, if you are dealing with anyone, we do have Gemini, we do have Cancer. <laughs> Speaking of Leo, Leo is right there. We also have Pisces as well as Libra. Goodbye.